International break over for Inter Miami. We're back at it this week at home against Philadelphia Union. We preview it all right here on the Inter Miami Weekly Show. We missed seeing the group this week after the very hot stretch wins in eight of the last nine, but ready to keep it going again with Kieran Gibbs. I'm Joe Malfa. Kieran, it was weird not having the game this past week, but it was a much needed rest for the group of coming off of League's Cup, coming off a couple of matches right after League's Cup. All the players who were on their various tournaments in the summer between Copa and, and the Olympics. It was nice to have a week off. Uh, <laughs> we love a week off. We love a week off. <laughs> and going forward, though, now there's not too many of those because uh, we'll get to specifically this Philly game this weekend in just a moment. But it's six matches in 21 days, starting with this Philly game. It is a very, very tricky run in. Yeah, it's the final run in, uh, the, the, the final push from the boys. They've had such a magnificent season. I'm really hoping that they finish off strongly here because, you know, it would be a shame for them to let uh, such a great season, yep. um, you know, go go a little bit sour by by some, you know, taking their foot off the mm -hmm. gas. I, I just hope that, you know, Tata keeps them focused and concentrated. We get the injuries back in um, and, and, and continue this, this um, unbelievable season. And it's a tricky run in as well because starting with this Philly game, Philly just on the outside looking in, but they're in a really tight shuffle there. Everybody's within a couple of points of each other for the last couple of playoff spots. So you've got a desperate Philly team. You've got Atlanta and Charlotte who are in the mix. You've got NYCFC who's making a push. And also wrapped into this on October 2nd, you've got a road trip to Columbus. And as it stands, of course, since he's there, Columbus is there, but Columbus has the game in hand and the head-to-head. -head. Kind of seems like Columbus is more of the threat than Cincinnati. You play him head-to-head. -head. So it's a very tricky stretch now of six matches in 21 days. Then there's another week break in there for another October international window. And then season finale in October against New England. So it's a little bit of a stop and start here. We're coming out of the first stop. We start, we go for 21 days, six games, and we stop again and wrap it all up. But it's a very tricky stretch. And going into this now, knowing the opponents, knowing which ones are home, which ones are on the road, knowing that Messi is still working in and no official word, but getting closer to a point now to join the group again, knowing all of this, if you're Tata Martino, how do you weigh, we talked a little bit about it last week, but how do you weigh now tinkering with the lineup and, and giving guys rest and keeping them fresh for the postseason while also making sure you push for and clinch that top overall spot? Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, game, it's, it's a game now where you know, you're in a period of season where there's all different types of pressures. You know, I remember playing in, in a season a couple of seasons ago and trying to push for the playoffs. That's a, a different pressure to where Miami are at now, but I'm sure there's many players in the team that will know what they're going to be up against, you know, when they when they come again uh, when they come up against teams like Philadelphia at the moment. Um, you know, they're going to be so desperate to, to, to get those those playoff spots. Um, and, and they have to be careful with that because, you know, Miami is sitting comfortably, you know, pretty comfortably at the moment. Um, but when you come up against these teams where, you know, it's all or nothing for them, um, sometimes those those performances yeah. you have to be really ready for. So they're going to come up, come up against a few teams in the next few weeks um, with, with teams under those, that kind of pressure. So, um, you know, Tata has to keep them mentally fresh. Um, but I think he's he, the way he's rotated his squad this season. He's a, he's been able to to keep. I think Julian Gressel's played a lot of football, but oh, yeah. you know the the rest have had enough rotation that they should be mentally and, and physically ready for this final pushing. Yeah, it feels like unless your name is Drake Callender or Julian Gressel, you, you've had your time off. You've rotated. Not those two guys. And those two again, when all is said and done, for all the plaudits for Suarez and for Messi and and for for that group. Those might be the two unsung heroes of the season when all is said and done between Drake and Gressel. Yeah, they've been just ever present. They've performed at such a high level for so long. Um, you know, Gressel in particular, his, his, his final ball um, has been probably Miami's biggest weapon, um, I would say, well, at least what, one of their, their biggest weapons this season. Um, he's going to be crucial for, for the running, especially with his experience of, of winning it before. And then you've got Drake, who's uh, just been so consistent um, he's been a tower house back there he's been you know he's really set the standard for the foundation of Miami defensively um, and you know he could be up there as another one of the players 
players of the season for me. No doubt, no doubt. And before we dive into this matchup against Philly, if you want to get two screens going, because it's a big weekend, at the same time that we take on and hopefully beat Philadelphia, it's the Hell is Real Derby, the Ohio Derby. It's Cincinnati and Columbus. The two teams right behind us head-to-head -head this weekend. Columbus has been inching ever closer. They still have a game in hand. They play us coming up on October 2nd. We're done with Cincy. Don't play him again. Not until the postseason, possibly, at least, but not in the regular season. And we have that nice cushion on them. So uh, I guess uh, how aware are you of that as a player, knowing that uh, at the end of the night, it's Cincy, it's Columbus, one of them is going to cannibalize the other. Uh, and do you do you have a preference? Do you root for a team? Or you just say, you know what, let's take a look at it when the night's done and see what happens. A draw would be pretty good. <laughs> a draw no? would be nice. A draw, a would, draw be nice. would be nice. I think, I think a draw would be nice if I was, you know, sitting there. As a, as a Miami player, I'll be hoping for a draw because, you know, they're both they're both very good teams. So, you know, hopefully they cancel each other out and it just gives us that extra cushion. That's ideal. I pick up three points. You start doing the quick math. I don't love math, but you just start doing the quick math. You pick up three against Philly. Those two end up with a draw. And now you're sitting in a great spot because at that point, there's six games remaining. You're talking about a cushion on Cincy and Columbus that could be anywhere from seven to ten. It's not mathematically done. The bottom could still fall out. You never know what could happen in this funny old sport. But if it's a draw, like you said, in this ideal scenario, and a win against Philly, you could start dusting off a spot on the shelf for that supporter shield and, and start planning the dates to have the MLS Cup run through. Let's Chase not Stadium. go too ah, soon, Joe. Right, 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 Let's not right, go right, too right, soon, right, okay, please, okay. please, please. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get, that'll, that'll be next week's show when if, if all this happens where we get the draw and we get the win. But now in this Philadelphia game, first time playing them since June. That was... Maybe this is something you haven't thought about in a while, but as soon as I mentioned it, you'll remember that was that chaotic Crazy game, game where we went down to nine men and then Leo Afonso from Yannick Bright on a breakaway at the very end, 90 plus four, won it two to one. We were down one nil. We were down two men. We somehow scored twice and take the three points. And I think that was the perfect encapsulation of the way this team has fought all year long. <laughs> yes, it exactly was. It was a, it was a crazy performance. Um, we've seen many of them from Miami, particularly more towards the start of the season. Um, I'm sure Tata's hoping for a bit more of a, a smoother game than that. <laughs> but um, you never know in this league, and, and especially you know the, these games against Miami at the moment. It's it's always other teams it's always their biggest game of the season so you you know we're always going to expect some kind of fireworks that's such a class team and jim Curtin's a class head coach in this league and they're sitting again one point below the play in line remember the format now top seven teams all make it to round one of the playoffs then eight and nine have a wild card game against each other so right now philly are one point below that wild card spot but even that they're only a couple points from the seven so it's very very bunched up right now at that part of the east and you mentioned uh, a desperate team, and, and a te all year long, Inter Miami's had that target on the back. Now you're combining the two. You've got a desperate team and a target on your back, and you can never overlook an opponent, no matter how much they've been struggling in league play, I'll say, because they did make the League's Cup semifinal, Philadelphia, but in league play, they've been struggling. No matter how good you've been, Inter Miami, no matter how much they've sort of struggled, you cannot count your chickens before they hatch, like I almost just did, apparently, going ahead of for the playoffs, but uh, you have to make sure you're locked in. So my question to you, it's a simple one in principle, but it's become one of the more difficult questions that I could ask you as the season's gone along. What do you look to focus on? Because I feel like all year long, we have asked you this question, and there was always something for Inter Miami. It was set pieces. It was uh, starting games quicker. There doesn't seem to be an answer anymore because it seems like they've been buttoned up on everything. So, so what is the focus going into this Philly game? I think maintaining standards now is is the key for for the rest of this season because you know they've they've set new standards of the club, new heights. Um, they've broken a lot of records this season, and their performances uh, have showed that they are the best team, or if not one of the best teams in the league. And when you're the best team in the league you have a different kind of pressure because when everyone wants to beat you, you know, it's, it becomes everyone's biggest game of the season. Everyone wants to perform well against you and you have to constantly prove, uh, you know, not only to yourself, but to, to everyone else that you are the best team um, in the league. It's a, it's a difficult place to be. It's tough at the top, mm. um, but, you know, this, this team have shown how far they've come and in order to really separate yourself and, and you know, prove to be a, a great team uh, in this league, 
you have to keep performing at that level. So I would just say, you know, maintaining those those high standards and not letting them drop from a performance standpoint. We can all you can always lose a game, of course. Um, but they've they have set the bar high for for their performance, um, and they need to maintain that. Luis Suarez break the record this weekend that he tied last week when he, or I guess two weeks ago now, that he tied when he got his 16th goal of Gonzalo Higuain, 16 in a season. Does he break it this week, or do we got to wait a little bit longer? Uh, the way he's playing, he's <laughs> he's not only he's not only scoring in each, he, he's getting a brace on a regular basis. Oh, yeah. You know, he's <laughs> crazy. He's hunting for a hat trick in most games at the moment, which is um, incredible to see. Yeah. It's just it really is. Yeah, I forget getting a 17 maybe he gets a 20 this week already it's gonna be fun to watch it's gonna be a very high bar that he sets for everybody else and we hope that it comes in another three points for inter miami this week here 7 30 on saturday at home at chase stadium on apple tv where you could find us each week here inside the club room and i'm Melissa's season pass on apple tv